Welcome to the Epic Family Road Trip Gear Review Show. Where we review our favorite gear. This week we're in Chattanooga, Tennessee where we dropped in at the CVT Warehouse. Join my dad and Bobby Culpepper as they take you through CVT's East Coast Warehouse and show you some of their awesome tents and trailers. Hey guys, we're here in Chattanooga, Tennessee at the CVT Tent Factory, I guess. You don't, well, you don't build them here, but this is the distribution for the East of North America. East Coast. The whole East Coast. Uh, this is Bobby Culpepper. Uh, he's going to show us around. We've got some really neat uh, tents, different tent configurations to show you here. Bobby, what's behind us? Um, a lot of people ask us, you know, do, you, do I need a full-size Jeep? Do I have to get a big rack? Can I put it on a car? I see you have a, a smaller version of a tent on a, on a Mini, which is kind of cool. What can you tell us about this one? Well, we put this one on a Mini Cooper just to be able to show people that we can do small cars. I mean, I mean, over half of our sales are, of course, on bigger vehicles, but the other half is also on Subarus, Mini Coopers, uh, Hondas, Prius, um, you name it. So we wanted to be able to show people the versatility of the tents. Um, granted, you're not going to be able to put a big family tent on top of a small car like this, but you can do our two plus down. So you can get two people in there. You, you're probably not going to be climbing any mountains or going, uh, you know, out into the rough areas like we've been with a with a Mini Cooper. But this really opens up a lot of possibilities for people. If you do, if you're not ready yet to buy a Land Rover or a Jeep or something. You could throw it on your car. That is really, really neat. And there, as you know from watching our blogs, there's nothing like camping in a rooftop tent. It is the way to go. Let's look at uh, some of the bigger uh, series that you have here. What's the biggest one you got? So the biggest one we have is not in here, uh, which is our three sisters. Uh, our three sisters will hold a minimum of six people. Uh, so we'll just go to the next one down, which we have open here. This is our Mount Denali. It's in the standard version of a Summit. Um, this one is our four plus person tent. This one, of course, is in the Summit. Our Summit series offers uh, quite a few upgrades from what normal tents do. So what upgrades we have on this versus our normal tent would be the fabric is a 380. Uh, it's 100 grams heavier than our normal tents. The, fa the fly fabric is heavier. Um, the annex room doors are actually bigger. So. And then um, you also get uh, waterproof mattress cover, USB ports, LED lighting with on and off dimmer switch, condensation mat. Wow. Um, the exterior straps are a sin style strap versus a piece of Velcro. Um, I think that's pretty much it on the Summit series. Look at this thing, you got two ladders. Uh, so this is considered what, a four? A four plus, yeah. Four plus. So we you, do have like six people that sleep in that, but those are smaller families. Yeah, you could, uh, I mean, you could put a lot of people up in there. They're, they're saying four people, but that's four people sleeping really comfortably. Um, you could squeeze one or two more in there if you had two small, smaller people, small kids. A big an uh, annex room down here. You've got a couple of chairs in here. I like the LED lighting. That's a nice option as well as the USB ports, especially when you have kids. You can't be too far away from the USB port at all times. Right. Um, Even for us as parents. <laughs> that's right. Or business owners, I guess. Pretty, yeah. Yeah. It's pretty much a necessity these days. So that, this is a beautiful tent. I really like this one. You do have some awnings, I see. Yeah, so these are our size of awnings. Actually, our 55 isn't up there, but we have a 55 inch, we have a 79 inch, and a 99 inch. We have it in our Pioneer and our Summit Series. So the Summit Series, again, comes with the LED light and the heavier fabric, uh, where our Pioneer is just the normal 280 with no LED light. And you can also get mesh rooms and walls, like this one is a wall set up here. So they also do come with floors. We just have it out of this one. So this is a Summit Series awning with Summit Series uh, wall. So it's much heavier fabric again. So we just have this one set up. And the one thing about our products is like our, our walls, for instance, are four doors. So you can actually get into the vehicle. The annex rooms that we have in our tents actually have four doors. So um, that's one thing neat about CBT is that when we do things, we're always thinking about everyone else, ourselves, other possibilities. Well, so you can see, you can get into your vehicle from the inside there. There's a big door in the back. There's a door going out both sides and the door in the front. Nice. And the reason for the doors out the side was because when you carry those coolers out of the inside of your vehicle, it's hard to walk around the ladder where most of the time you need it in the front or the back of your vehicle. So we set it up that way. Plus it gives you more airflow with the screens all closed in. 
Man, those are all really good considerations and uh, you can tell you guys have been camping and, and using these things because, you know, carrying in coolers, all that kind of stuff, uh, it, you know, when you make it easier, it's, it's a huge bonus. So, uh, good on you for thinking about all that stuff. How about the zippers and the screens? What, what can you tell us about that? Well, our screens are, are no SAM mesh, uh, which is what you want, you know, whether it be in Florida or Alaska. Zippers, we have SKK and YKK. Um, so we have really good quality zippers. We always recommend to folks anyway, um, make sure you wax or soap your zippers, okay. keep your tent clean, because a lot of things can go wrong if you don't keep up on the, the maintenance of your tent. So just beeswax is a good one and also soap, like a, something that doesn't have a perfume in it. Okay, just uh, like a natural soap? Yeah, because you don't want to attract bugs to it either. The last one we're gonna check out here is the one that's mounted on the trailer. And um, as you know, we have this trailer, one very, very similar to this, um, and we love it. It can go anywhere. It's got independent suspension. What, what else can you tell us about the trailer and then, and then the tent? Well, the trailers, um, we've been making these now for over a year. They do have a timber and actual suspension underneath it, like you had mentioned. Uh, timber does a good job with that. What we did is we wanted something that was going to be durable. Uh, it's, a little, it's a little heavy at 1,200 pounds, but it's durable. So instead of most people just stopping their fenders here, we brought the fender all the way out to bring into the form of the frame because we wanted it to be able to bounce off of trees, bounce off of shrubs, bounce off of whatever you can. Um, so we accomplished that. We have tie downs all over the trailer, all the way around. The lid opens, you can come with the, they also comes with a short rack and a taller rack. So you can be able to use an annex room like this at full, uh, full length. Uh, the other thing that we offer on this is uh, we have a tailgate that swings out on this one. Uh, we do also now have bed slide and I can show you a trailer out there that has a bed slide in it so you can see what that does. And then we have more accessories coming from whether it be a toolbox or for your solar or for more storage, also propane tank holders, stuff like that. Yeah, we had a question on YouTube. Someone asked uh, where we would put a spare tire on it. What do you suggest? Well, there's a couple of options. One, you can mount it to the front here. You can either build a plate off of here or a plate off of there. Yep. Uh, you could also probably do it off the back of the tailgate. Yeah. Um, I would have to look into that. We're looking at other options for that also too. Does this one have a hitch on the back, a hitch port? Ours does. Yeah, all of ours do. So the nice thing with ours, we don't just put these in here and weld them right here because that's kind of a weak spot, you know, depending on what happens. Our channel runs all the way through. So what is a hitch here is now a receiver hitch in the back. So you. I was telling him on YouTube, uh, and I just will confirm it now, but I was thinking you could put something on that receiver that would hold a spare tire as well if you wanted to. Yeah, yeah, people yeah. do it. It's just gonna have to have, when you do it, you're gonna have to have some sort of a good gusset on the back side of it to be able, depending on the weight of your tire, like right. these can hold, do about 37 inch tires on them, which still give you some upward travel. Uh, most of them are about 31s, but yeah, you can do a, a receiver one, but you gotta make sure it's gusset good because just, bringing it out and welding it on and making it look like an L is just gonna pop off if right. you're off-roading whatsoever. Yeah, 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 understood. And the tongue uh, is also extendable? Yeah, it is extendable, um, but mostly it's it's there for you just to, if you need um, to pull around or do whatever, have different places to back into, yeah. so you have that option. Okay, it's also, if you're worried about it being stolen, you're leaving it at a camp, you yank that off yeah. and they're gonna have to carry it if they want it. <laughs> right. <laughs> Which is pretty heavy, all right. Well, we love our trailer, um, and we've got a lot of adventures ahead in our trailer. So if, you, if you're looking at one, take a good look at these CVT trailers. They're really good quality. So we're going to take a look at this slide out. Yeah, let's walk right out here. So we just uh, implemented these into our everyday, not everyday, but for as an accessory add-on. So this is a bed slide. Uh, very nice when it comes to being able to pull out to get to your fridge, to get to your gear, to get to whatever you need on the inside of the trailer. This really helps, especially if you have your tent on the top um, and you want to close it. I mean, keep it closed and not open it. You have it all set up. So this is a great alternative to do that with too. Another thing we have too is we now have awning brackets for the trailer. Nice. So we have a rhino rack awning uh, fox wing on this one. And also too, we've changed our hinges, our latches on our trailers now too. Um, to get rid of the rod on the inside and to be able to just give you more uh, leverage on the outside. Yeah, and here we have a sample with the high rack. Yeah, there you go, there's a tall rack. A tall rack, which is uh, an option, gets your tent higher off the ground. Um, 
and you can uh, you can put stuff under here like a kayak or whatever. So yeah. uh, pretty neat. Lots of uh, great innovations. I like what's going on with these things. That that slide out is really, I know it's really cool. Fun. I like that. Yeah, bed slide does a great job. Good. Well, this has uh, been a tour, Bobby. Thanks for showing us around. Appreciate it very much. Uh, CBT trailers and tents. Uh, they're actually based. Your main office is based in uh, Bend, Bend, Oregon. Oregon. Paradise, if you've never been there, you gotta go. Actually, no, don't go. Everyone, everyone says, right. don't go to Bend. Yeah, don't go to Bend. <laughs> it's, it's too nice and it's getting ruined by its own beauty, so, uh, with so many people coming into town. But uh, yeah, they're based in Bend, Oregon, so if you're on the West Coast, uh, call them up there. If you're on the East Coast, Chattanooga, and Bobby will get you uh, what you need. I appreciate it very much. Thanks, right. you guys. See you down the road. Down the road. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hope you enjoyed this video and stay tuned for our weekly vlogs and gear review videos. Leave a comment below if you have any questions or suggestions for future gear videos. Just a disclaimer, our goal with the Epic Family Road Trip Gear Review Show is to share free and useful information with our viewers. Just to let you know, we're not sponsored or paid by any of the brands we review on the show. If we were to be sponsored in the future, we'd let you know on our video, and it would only be by companies that we trust, love, and use. Thanks for watching this video, and in the meantime, we'll, we'll see, see you down, down the road. road.